Well, hello there. How are you doing today? Do you feel like hanging out with me in the kitchen today? Oh, come on. Come on in. I'll show you what I have in store for you for today. What do I have going on for you for today? Well, over the last couple months, I haven't been uploading a lot. I Some days I feel good, some days I feel bad, but one of the things that brings me the most comfort is hanging out in the kitchen cooking. It was one of the things that Ray really liked to do. And before Ray passed away, he had purchased the hex clad pots and pans for me. And I never really had a chance to use them. And so I've kind of pulled them out and I've started to use them and it brings me comfort using the pots and pans that Ray got for me that we got to cook on one time and uh, make some fun dishes or meals. Now these meals, today's meal, is not a meal that I came up with on my own, full disclosure. I like to kind of scour TikTok and when I find a good recipe that looks yummy because who doesn't like to look for new recipes when you're burnt out on your own? I tell you, TikTok's got some good ones, and so you know what? When I find one I like, I'm gonna share it with you. So I'm gonna quit my gabbing, let's jump into it, and today, guess what I'm gonna teach you how to make that I just learned how to make? Chili con carne. Oh my word, do not let that intimidate you because it is so easy, so scrumptious, and so delicious. I can't wait to share it with you, and it's easy to do. Did I tell you that? Okay, let's get to it. For this recipe, you are going to need more than three Roma tomatoes, probably seven, but I'm gonna start off by taking three of them and I am going to slice and dice them. And I'm gonna go with one brown onion. This is not a sweet onion, this is just a good old brown onion, a nice cheap brown onion. Now, if you wanna dice up a pepper, a green and red pepper, yellow, you can totally do that. I am not a bell pepper person. I don't like bell pepper. I feel like when you add it to a dish, the flavor of the bell pepper kind of takes over the dish and you taste the bell pepper in everything and I'm just not a fan of it. So I'm gonna stick with onion and tomato, but again, you can add red, yellow, and green bell pepper to this on top of the onion and tomato if you'd like. I'm gonna saute up the tomatoes and onions and to do that, I'm gonna add just a bit of olive oil to my pan, then just add my tomatoes and onions. I'm gonna do this just long enough for these tomatoes and onions to sweat a bit. Now to me, the definition, right, wrong, or indifferent of sweating is to bring out those yummy flavors and juices from the tomatoes and onions. Alrighty, so I let this go for about five or six minutes. I wanna add a bit more flavor, so to do that, I'm gonna add a tablespoon or two of some minced garlic. If you wanna go with fresh garlic and mince it yourself, I say go for it, but I like to save time and I really don't much taste the difference, so I go with the pre-minced stuff in the bottle. I didn't add the garlic when I first added the onions and tomatoes because I feel like sometimes when you saute it and you let garlic cook a little too long, it can take on a bitter taste. For this dish, you're gonna need a thin sliced steak, beef, you can use a skirt steak. There are so many different types of beef that you can use. For this meal, I'm going with a very budget-friendly one, this boneless beef clad steak. It's a thin cut. It is so inexpensive and what I like about this meat is it doesn't really toughen up when you cook it. It stays more on the tender side and that just kind of adds to this dish. I'm gonna slice this thinly into bite-sized pieces. I'm gonna season this meat with some salt. Now you're gonna do this to taste. I like seasoning on my food. Along with that salt, I'm gonna add a ton of pepper because I do, I like pepper. And I'm also gonna go with an onion powder here. 
I'm not measuring, like I said, it is all to taste and some garlic powder. This is yummy seasoning in a packet, this Sazon Guya. I'm using the cilantro and tomato. I'm gonna take one packet and I'm gonna season my meat with that too. And I'm gonna give this a nice good mix, mixing up those seasons with my meat. I'm not using gloves because this is for Kayla, Allie and I. My hands are washed. I don't wear gloves when I cook. Now that I've let my tomatoes, onion, and garlic saute for a bit, I'm gonna go ahead and scooch this over to the side and I am going to add my thin cut steak to this mixture and I'm gonna let this go until my meat is good and cooked. It's gonna probably take about 10 or 15 minutes. I wanna get it nice and browned. I kinda put my vegetables off to the side in the beginning just to kinda get the cooking process started and then I go ahead and incorporate the tomatoes and onions in with the meat so those flavors, the meat can take on those flavors. While the meat's cooking, I'm gonna move on to the sauce. And for the sauce, I'm gonna be using three Roma tomatoes. You can use any tomatoes you want, but like I said, I'm trying to keep this budget friendly and Roma tomatoes are 79 cents a pound right now, so you can't beat that. I'm gonna core these. Is that what that's called, a core? It's not a stem because there's no stem anymore. So a core, decore them, take, well, you see what I'm taking out. I'm gonna take out the center because I don't wanna eat that part. I will also be using two jalapenos. Now, in my opinion, and this may not be completely accurate, I am just stating my opinion. When you remove the seeds and the ribbing from the inside of the jalapeno, it tends to take all the heat out of the jalapeno for me and just leave the flavor of the jalapeno. And I personally love the taste of jalapenos. And I also kind of like the heat as well. I don't want too much heat in this dish because Allie is eating it. So I'm gonna remove the seeds and the ribbing from the inside of only one jalapeno. Now, if you want a bit more heat than this and you like the heat, you can go with a serrano if you want, or just simply keep the seeds and the ribbing in both jalapenos. And I'm gonna go with three tomatillos. Now before this, I had never really cooked with tomatillos before. I Googled these because I felt like, are these green tomatoes or in the tomato family? No, they are not green tomatoes, but they are in fact in the tomato family. And let me just tell you, they taste amazing when you cook with them. I love the flavors that these put off. And so to this sauce, I will be adding three of these. To a pot, I'm gonna add some water. And to that water, I'm gonna add my three Roma tomatoes that I cored. Yeah, I cored them, just like an apple. My whole jalapeno and my jalapeno that I cut in half and removed the seeds and the ribs. And I'm gonna add my three tomatillos. And I'm gonna let this simmer for about 20 to 25 minutes. Depending on the BTU that your stove puts out is gonna be dependent on how long you let it simmer for. I am using uh, the simmer burner, so I'm gonna let it go for about 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, I am going to need a blender. And so to my blender, yeah, look, this is what they will look like after 20 minutes. So you want your tomatoes and tomatillos to look like this. When they do look like this, you're gonna add them to the blender. Look at that, yeah, this is gonna make some serious goodness. I am promising you that. Oh my goodness. I can eat this sauce by the spoonfuls. Oh my word, I think I may go and make this again today because it's been a couple weeks since I filmed this and this is just making me hungry. Yep, I'm gonna add the tomatoes, the tomatillos, and the jalapeno to this blender. And I'm also gonna add some tomato bouillon. And I'm gonna go with about a tablespoon and a half of the tomato bouillon. There's gonna be water in your tomatoes and tomatillos, so you don't need to add more to the blender. You're gonna blend it, and once it's good and blended, 
I'm gonna head back to the stove where my meat should be good and cooked and I'm gonna add this sauce to the meat, the tomatoes, the onion, the garlic. Oh my word, would you look at this? I'm gonna give this a good stir and I'm gonna let it simmer for another five or six minutes because again, I want the meat to take on the flavors of the sauce that I just made. Now that it's simmering, I think it's done. Yeah, it really is that easy. I am telling you, this meal takes about a half an hour to 40 minutes to prepare. And would you look at that goodness? That is a spoonful of goodness. <sighs> yep, so I'm gonna go ahead and cook myself up a couple of flour tortillas. And I'm gonna get them nice and brown and crisp because I feel like that just kinda adds to the flavor of the tortilla. Once my tortillas are done, I'm gonna spoon some of this into a bowl. I'm gonna have a couple of tortillas that I dip into this. And this is a comfort finger food to me. I don't use a spoon or a fork. If you wanna make this burrito style, you can. I personally, I like to just rip up my tortilla and dip it and that is where the comfort in this dish is. I say go to the store and make this today. So when I tell you that this is a family favorite now, since I have found this recipe on TikTok, I've made it a total of five times because it's so easy to do and it's really good. I hope you all enjoyed today's chili con carne recipe. I hope you try it. Leave me a comment in the comments below letting me know if you try it and if you've tried any of my other recipes that I brought to you that I found on the internet that aren't mine. Until next time, everybody. I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy cooking in your kitchen. Stay happy, stay safe, stay healthy, but most of all, you know what I'm gonna say. It's a bit of a hard one these days, but I'm sure it's gonna be fine. Stay positive, please. Bye for now, everybody. <laughs>